Hello, welcome to Mac with me, Meg. It is absolutely my favorite time of year. Not only am I a Libra queen, but it is fall foliage season, it's blazer season, it's cozy up by the fire season, and most importantly, it's Halloween. I am the proud auntie to some very adorable kiddos. Shout out Emily, Jack, and Adelaide. So I've been having a very good time the last few weeks with my maker supplies, coming up with some very cute, kid-friendly and adult-friendly Halloween decor. So I'm about to put them in the mail to get to the kiddos today, and I'm gonna show you how to make your own. So let's get started. Print out my Halloween skull design onto cardstock paper. Yay! Cut it out. You can use this free printable to trace your skulls. Lay your paper skull down onto a stiff felt sheet and trace the perimeter in pencil. Cut it out until you have a cute little skull. You will repeat these easy steps in a Roy G. Biv color scheme on enough skulls to fill your wreath form. For me, that was 30 pieces to create 15 skulls for an 11 and a half inch wreath. Next up, we're cutting out eyes and noses in the top layer of our skulls. You can either draw on a vertical line in the spots to denote the area, then fold your felt in half and cut the line. From there, you can put the tip of your scissors in the slit and cut around to create circular eyeballs. For the nose, fold in half the other way and cut a little triangle out on the cut line to create a nice little nose or simply fold on the eye line and cut out two half circles. Unfold to reveal the shapes and cut to clean it up. Using analogous or similar colors as the backing of the skull, you can create an even more interesting and cool rainbow color story. Take a liquid ink black pen and add creepy cracks into your skulls to weather them. They've been haunting people for years and should look a bit big. Once you've added creepy cracks onto each and every skull and allowed a minute for the ink to dry, you are going to glue the two pieces of your skulls together using tacky glue. Squeeze out a nice thin line of glue and add it to the back of the skull that you added the eyes to. Being careful not to get any on your cutouts to keep the glue hidden. Use clear drying glue to make these as clean as possible. Paint your wreath form the color you want. The rainbow stands out really great against the black. Add ribbon or twine to hang your wreath on your door when you're done. I simply cut a piece of black cord, put it through the hole to create a nice little loop and tie a knot at the end. Now you're ready to start laying out your skulls to get the right design. You want them snugly fit right up onto each other and you need them all to fit. So shave off any extra around the edges as you go and add them onto the wreath using tacky glue. Hot glue can be even more sturdy for this, especially if you're hanging this outdoors in high humidity. Add enough glue to adhere it well, but not too much to prevent drips. Once it's dry, you're ready to hang it. And voila! Rainbow skull wreath for Halloween or gay pride or just for cute fun. This color scheme was inspired by my small but mighty friend, Adelaide. This design also works well with white and off-white skulls. Get as creative as you want, and you can hang this on your front door of your house or on the bedroom door of your small little trick-or-treater to get them in the mood for Halloween. What color scheme do you think you're gonna do for your skull wreath? Or do you think you're gonna make it maybe into like a little garland or something? You can play along with scale and size and just get as creative as you want. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe to Mac for more Halloween content just around the corner. And be sure to check out my fall playlist. I have a lot of very fun costumes from previous years, including many where I made my dogs dress up and they look freaking adorable. So I highly recommend you check it out. You guys have a wonderful day today and a fabulous Halloween season, and I will see you later.